that's where we are. All right, I'm kind of excited about all the little pottery pieces. Pumpkins. It's feeling a little competitive in here today. They're a little bit flea bitey, is what I like to call that. Just say no, just say no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's, I, I think that's one of the, I'm sorry little girl, but I, it's one of the ugliest little uh, coconut bank things I think I've ever seen. I get a chauffeur for my thrifting trip today. Pretty cool. All right, we are headed out to, surprise, surprise, Goodwill. Uh, here's my chauffeur. <laughs> Sunny Las Vegas and I are gonna head up to the Goodwill on uh, Senior Wednesday. Senior Wednesday, yes. 40% off. Nice, good for you. So we're gonna see what we can find. Well, I mean, we can all go in my pile, I'm just yeah. saying. Just saying, yeah. come on, who doesn't do that? <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so we're gonna head up there and see what we can find to resell. Sunny sells on whatnot, whatnot. Uh, I, I have a link down in my description. If you haven't checked out whatnot yet, you use that little linky poo there and you can get $10 on your first purchase, which is pretty cool. Free money. Free money. Um, so check that out and uh, go check out it's sunny Las Vegas on whatnot is your mm -hmm. is, Same. there you Same go if you want to see what he's selling over there so all right heading to Goodwill that's where we are the Goodwill Le Goodwill oh you know what's super cool is I'm in a truck so if there's something really <laughs> good here we got a truck to that's put the it first in perk of having a truck it looks a little crowded here. It looks a little crowded here, but we found a spot. We found a spot. There we go. Okay, Sunny. Let's get shop done. You know, I got this thing about Which is hard to trash Oh, I don't like I don't like the ones, yeah. Oh, you you like the ones with the trash in it? For some reason I find good stuff when there is. Okay, all right. Mm. I'll take this one. 50% off color is purple. Well, it is a little crowded today because it is senior day and it is morning. So we're gonna start here in the vases where it doesn't appear to be too crowded yet. It's a pretty candle holder. Well, it's kind of a neat vase, isn't it? Ooh, that has a very vintagey feel to it. I like that for some reason. I'm trying to pick things that are not hard to research and I think I'm already going to be getting myself into something that I'm going to take a little time to have to research, but $3.99 with 40% off, I'll put that in the cart. Alright, let's see what else I can torment myself with having to spend time researching. Not that I mind, I'm just a little short on time the last couple days. I'm working on a very big project, very, very big project, and it's very, very time consuming. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. All right, nothing else in the vases. See? These look like Mikasa. I believe it is a Mikasa pattern. Oh, look at that. Sure is spring, spring flare Mikasa. There's two of them even. I think I looked at this the other day. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. Bunnick Creations. Not sure how I feel about that. It's kind of nice. Hmm. I do like the pattern on that. I like the color. It doesn't have a lot of weight to it, which is throwing me. 
but because it's senior day and it is 40% off of $3.99, we'll take it. Are you looking at this? I was not looking at that. It's pretty though. Wood candle holders, little vintage wood candle holders that are $4.99. I think I will grab those. Like I said, it is a little crowded in here. Oh, this is another Bunnick creation. So I wonder if this came from like World Market. This one doesn't have a price tag on it. That one the same thing? No. no. This one is kind of cool also. And there's a pair of them. So what I can do is I could put two of these together. So $1.99 minus 40%. And I've got two that I can put in a lot and definitely make that worthwhile. Because I know they're worth at least 10 bucks a piece. They're really, really nice pottery and with that little textured leaf pattern. So we'll go ahead and pick those up. And I just must say that that was really super sweet of that lady to ask if I had been looking that item because I kind of scooched out of her way, you know, so she could get by. And uh, I really, I really, really, really appreciate people who are kind. Even if I had been looking at it, I, I mean, I would have, I would have not claimed it because she was so kind. I had a $45 price tag on it and I'm trying to figure out kind of why. It's pretty. Little art, and it's half price. This one's only two dollars. All right, I'm grabbing it. All right, I'm kind of excited about all the little pottery pieces. Um, this is again that Bunnick Creations. I'm not quite sure what that says on the bottom. Put that one aside for a minute. I think that's one also. But there's some really pretty. Look at these, they almost look like Polish pottery. Like, okay, I'm definitely gonna get this pair at, this one's $2.99, $1.99, that's okay. They're still, they're 40% off. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna get those two. Let's put those in the cart. And then these two are really catching my eye because I can put those together in a lot. So $1.99 each. I'm gonna grab those two. I guess I'm kind of in the planter business. I know, I'm not gonna leave them there. I'm just putting them there for now as I decide which ones I'm gonna grab. Cause see here, look, there's another one. I could put these down at my booth too. If they're not worth selling online, I can put these down at my booth. It's springtime, nice little planters. Um, I think I'm gonna grab all of these. I think I am. I think I am. And then up above, I need to look. See, now this one, just a plain white. That one's not exciting. BC Holland. And they're a little cube. And they're $3.99 each. I wonder if Rachel could paint these. Or if it's, I, I think it might be glazed to where she can't paint it. But those are cute too. I'm gonna grab those. This little chalkware, I think he's chalkware. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's chalkware. He is super vintage. And he's gray, so he's half price. So he's only $1.50. I'm gonna rescue him too. Looks like somebody else found some of those pots too. Oh, this matches one I already grabbed. Yay. Pumpkins, who makes these? The White Barn Candle Company, oh. They actually have candles in them still. I can smell them and they smell like pumpkin spice. Magnetic baseball. Oh, this is like a reproduction kind of a piece, I think. Wait. Oh, because it's a, yep, yeah, that's a reproduction. Coal sells a lot of that kind of stuff during the holiday season. It gets given at gifts as gifts, and then it gets given to Goodwill. These chef tiles are kind of cool. They look a little bit like the Guy Buffett, but oh, I see a name on there. What does that say? 
Who are you? You're too shiny to even... Mm, I can't read it. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can read it on one of the other ones. Jennifer Garvent or something like that. Let's see if that'll focus. Hmm. I don't know. Do you guys know? I do kind of like the one with the, the chicken and the egg. That one's kind of fun. They're a little scratched up though. This is my dilemma. They're a little, they're a little scratched up. So I'm gonna leave those. Oh, where's my Noah when I need him? It's a mask. Oh, that's kind of a nice mask. It looks like it's an owl at the top and there's real shell in here. I'm sure it's made for the tourist trade, but $6.99 minus 40%. I will get that. Oh, I'm having a little anxiety. It's feeling, it's feeling a little competitive in here today with it being so crowded and like, oh. I gotta be careful that I'm not just grabbing things um, that I wouldn't normally grab just because I'm feeling like I gotta grab them first. That's not good. I don't want to do that. Oh, I found a whale. I found a whale. A cute whale. Looks like he's made out of like reclaimed wood. He's probably a Hobby Lobby piece, but he's only $4.99 minus 40%. So he's definitely going in the cart. Let's see what else we got here. That actually looks vintage. Look at it. It's all, it's dovetailed. Do they make newer ones that are dovetailed? I'm pretty thinking sure not. <laughs> and I don't even know if that was proper English right there, but oh yeah, look. It's a Harry C. Hedberg, made in Illinois. Oh yeah, 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 that is vintage for $4.99. We will grab that. I really wasn't expecting to find a whole lot today because I was just here a couple days ago, but it just goes to show you. They put stuff out every day, every day. Oh, look. Give me a K. I see some very colorful ducks. Wood painted ducks. Looks like they probably were on a stand at one point. But see, there's a little hole in the bottom. So, but they could easily be put back on a stand or they sit really nicely just the way they are. Now, I probably would not pay $2.99 a piece for these on a normal day. But at 40% off, that makes them only $1.80 a piece. So it's $4 for the pair. I will grab those. I just spotted this. Now, this was sold for $69.99 like back in the day. Now, I'm here with Sunny Las Vegas. This is not my kind of thing. But I'm going to stick this in the cart and show it to him so that uh, he might be interested in selling that. See what else we got on this shell. I can't even read that. Celebrate family, friends, and traditions. All right. See the rolling pin. Looks vintage, but it doesn't really excite me. So I'll save that for somebody who gets really excited by rolling pins. How about that? I am on the knickknack shelves now, and the first thing I note are these very, very crystal clear glasses, which kind of are out of place. I'm trying to see why they might have ended up over here, as opposed to being with the, oh, because that one's got a chip. That would be why. So it's not a set of four. Oh yeah, they got, they're a little bit flea bitey, is what I like to call that. Um, it's not like, like a chip chip, it's just that very, very rough kind of they got dinged and I'm not seeing a name on them to tell me that it's something that can overcome that chipping. So we will leave those as it looks like somebody else did as well. But I'm going for that clarity, you know, that's what pulls me on some of these. It's like nice, clear, like lead crystal. Oh, now I do have a black light again. Uh, but I didn't bring my keys with me this time. It's on my keychain. And I didn't bring my keys with me because Sunny drove. 
so I can't, I know, I'm horrible that way. I'm absolutely horrible that way. But it's, it's okay. I mean, I, I really, I, I look at it and go, oh yeah, that's a nice piece of glass. You know, I'll buy it or not. And then I'll, if it glows, it's just a bonus. Like this is a nice older cut piece of glass. I can see all the little scratches on there. See those little scratches? That is just an age thing. Because they're micro scratches that happen like when it sits on a shelf with dust and it gets kind of like moved ever so slightly over time and you know and kind of picked up and put down as it's dusted around and and all of that so um, that's what causes those little micro scratches this is not an American brilliant piece it's it's um, not thick enough it's not deep enough but it is cut glass this is probably more like a 19 30s piece I'm gonna say which sadly doesn't have a lot of resale value now um, I wish I wish this glass would come back because it has such history and such a story uh, but you know what for $2.99 minus 40% I'm gonna grab it oh just say no just say no just coming to look at what this might be Pizzato, handmade in Italy. Beautiful bowl. I'm looking at it because it might be a good bowl to hold some of the little crystals and things that I have been buying from my friend Natika. Uh, she's Be The Light Crystals on Facebook and I go to her Friday afternoon live sales over there and I'm just, I'm just so enamored by some of the beautiful crystals that I can buy. And this bowl would really kinda show them off. So I think I'm going to grab it for $4.99. Alright. How about a purple pear? Goodness. Little marble guy here. Oh, a box. With one of those little lasery things. New York City. It's nice set. Almost looked like it should be like an occupied Japan, but it's not marked. birds on an egg. You know what? I'm going to get this to give away in one of my live sales. Let's see. Another nice little piece of art pottery. I don't know who's who done it. I will leave that one. Oh, there's one of these little um, decoupaged books. Some of these can be quite valuable. This actually looks like a real book that was, I guess that's how they did it, right? They used a real book and then they like lacquered over it. It's kind of cool, but I'm getting enough stuff in my cart now. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a little pickier. I just, I need to, I just need to. This would have been a nice little jewelry box, but it is, it is broken. That's unfortunate. I think the millennials are really into like the silvers and the glass and the mirrored kind of look. If I remember right. Look at this piece. Look at the interior on that. Mmm. I do like that. It is signed on the bottom too. At $3.99, I don't even need to look who has signed it at this point. Although you might be curious. So let me see if I can easily undo that tag and show you. Nope, that's all there is. That's all there is. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that piece up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's, I, I think that's one of the, I'm sorry little girl, but I, it's one of the ugliest little uh, coconut bank things I think I've ever seen. I can't, I can't, I'm sorry. I can't even put you in my cart. I totally would have picked this up for Carrie had it not been completely broken. Completely broken. I mean, this is the kind of thing that really does need to get just tossed because it, it's really, really broken. Up here, ooh, look at this jester mask. It's a little bit creepy, actually. I'm gonna leave that for somebody else, too, as I am. Oh goodness, the uh, skeleton in the chains with the 
coffin kind of, oh my goodness. Carrie might kill me though if I leave this behind. So it looks like somebody just made this piece. It's 10 bucks, so it'd be six bucks. Oh. See, I'm not much into the creepy Halloween stuff, but I do have friends that are, that love this stuff. So I think I'd be in trouble if I didn't grab this for Carrie. Okay, now this one, this one's even a little bit more interesting as far as masks go. It's on a stick. It's kind of one of those ones you hold up to your eyeballs. Like so. That's what it looks like. It does have a mark, hand painted. Oh, Venetia? Venetia? Is it Italian? All right, it is $7.99. Red tag, so no discount. But I think it's kind of super cool, so I'm gonna grab it. I did take a second look at the first one that I had looked at just to make sure it wasn't the same maker. And it wasn't, not even the same material, so. Just that one was the uh, the fancy schmancy one. That is a cool bowl. That is a cool, I don't know if you can see like, that is a cool bowl. I like it. That one's too big, I don't have any place to put that. I like the longer, more um, oval one because I have space to put that one. I don't have space to put that one. Cool little trivet. It's not an old one. It's just a made in China piece. It's another cool, this one's like a, a deep, <laughs> the, the tag is stuck in the shelf. All that, let's see. Come out of there. It's another, just a really cool decorative piece. I'm looking to see if there's a name on the back of this. I don't see one. All right. Got some patriotic stuff. That's odd, what are you? Are you like a little picnic-y silverware? Or not, well, silverware would fall right through, but something, hold something. I know, that's such a great description. It holds something. I mean, it's not totally inaccurate. It's just not very uh, descriptive. All right, nothing else in the metals. They just brought out a little card. I will take you, a little elephant planter. Let's a spot for you. This, I believe, comes from Ikea. Oh, look at that. It even says Ikea on the bottom because I have seen those at Ikea. What are you, little birds on there? It looks like, like the Asian crane. $1.99? Minus 40%? Uh, I'll take that. And look at these guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at these fish hanging guys. They're made of wood. They're pretty fantastic. I don't even know how much they are. I'm gonna have to find a price on them after I like set down the camera, but I have to get those. And I found this wood slab, just a nice little wood slab, but it's footed and it says B. Smith for $3.99. So I'm grabbing that. All right, we're gonna, gonna, oops, sorry gonna skim down the plastics those are plastic and I'm gonna get to a spot where I'm not in anybody's way to show you the last item that I pulled off of that cart which is pretty cool all right stand by look at this guy he's a folk manis puppet folk manis very good name $2.99 and you know the new Jurassic Park movie is coming out so dinosaurs are going to be hot for a while. There we go. So they've obviously been restocking um, as I've already like looked over at shelves but I spotted this tablecloth with these little velvety little leaves on it and it, it looks like burlap but it's not. It's a cotton. I don't see a maker name on it anywhere. I did notice one little area of schmooge 
which I'm gonna try and see if I can just soak and get that out. It's only $4.99 minus 40%. So I'm gonna grab that. I also found another one of these pieces marked BC Holland, $2.99, and it's got that vintage inspired look to it. So I'm grabbing that. Okay. I have a feeling that checkout is going to take a while today. Something tells me. Because it's super busy in here. I think I've shared in the past too. I don't do well with crowds. Like, I, I get very, very anxious. I like my own little personal breathing space, <laughs> if you will. So, it's not as enjoyable for me to shop when it's ever so busy. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? That's a cute little set of nesting balls. Hi! I don't know who makes them though. All right, let's take a peek through the mugs. Let's see, Pioneer Saloon. Oh, Good Springs. Good Springs is a cute little town just south of Vegas. There's not much there. But there is a bar, <laughs> or a saloon as they would call it. What is that? Looks like a shell. That's, you know, if there was a couple of these, I'd probably pick them up, even though they're like better homes, because they're so, I'm still thinking about what can I put in this next to my aquarium? Because it's, um, it's a cowrie shell. It's what is, ah, oh, man, that's, that's pulling me. That's pulling me hard. I, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the cart. I am going to peek and see if there's any more because you just never know. Oh, we've got a New Orleans Starbucks with a big chip, unfortunately. So we'll leave that one. And I see a little kitty cat. He looks like that was just one of those mail order you know, send your picture in and they'll make you a mug kind of things. Hear no evil, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Bears. Very, very thin mug. Doesn't have a lot of weight to it at all. Itasca State Park volunteer. Mm. Ooh. Hello, Mickey Mouse. Glasses. $4.99. So they would be like $3 each. I think there's probably some value in those. I'll grab those. I do like those canisters, but they are big and heavy. Not something I want to ship. The rows are getting more and more crowded. I couldn't even get over to the glasses from the mug, so I'll have to go back to that. That looks like an older piece of glass, but nothing too exciting. Oh, I see something cute. It's another one of those little pieces of pottery. This one has all these little flowers on it. This one doesn't have the hole in the bottom for drainage. I was always taught you just put a little layer of um, little rocks in there and then that keeps the water off of the roots of the plant if you don't want them, your the, the roots of the plant to kind of like, I guess rot would be it. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a gardener. <laughs> I'm not a, I can't keep plants alive to save my life. I just sell the pots. Okay, I just sell the pots. Oh your plastic gosh darn it even as plastic that is so super cool you ever just pick up a piece of plastic and say I have to have it because I'm kind of doing that right now even though it's plastic $1.99 yeah I'm gonna do it what's going on I did not intend to come in here and find a whole cart full of stuff cuz uh <laughs> This is actually, as I'm filming this, this is today's video. I have to go home and I have to edit this. And when I edit, I have to research everything because I tell you, 
uh, what it is, how much I paid, and what it will sell for on eBay. We'll get hot and microwave and dishwasher. Those are pretty, pretty canisters. A napkin holder. I'm just gonna say no to those. Um, so yeah, I thought, oh, I'll just bip in here and I'll do a little video and I'll find just a few things and it'll be fun and, but, oh no, look, look. Now, I don't know, for those who've been following me for a while, you're gonna know that Rachel loves pigeons. She loves pigeons and doves. And this is a raw piece that she could actually paint for her room. So I am gonna get that one for Rachel. Oh my goodness. Hay rides, pumpkins, apple cider. Ooh. Look at you, little painted copper. Nope, steel? Maybe steel? Bowl, 19, is that O? Oh goodness, what is that date? I don't know. I can't read that date. What does that date say? I can't tell. But it's beautiful, hand painted, beautiful colors. There's no price on it. They'll give me a good price. We're gonna get that. All right, we are bipping down the cooking stuff aisle. The carving set. Not seeing anything too super exciting today. It's a little vintage pot with a wood candle that's very, very well worn. Club. Club. And uh, oh, filters. Air filters. Nope, nothing here to. Alrighty, we're in the mishy mashy section. Looking for things. I don't. Oh, it's a notepad, a dress notepad. Mm -hmm. Ooh, drink fountain. Is it new? Because if it's new, it looks kind of new. But then I'm wondering, like, why is it here? Why is it here if it's open and it's new? It means it may have an issue. And I don't need to deal with. But my dogs love their little fountain. A whole bunch. Ooh, I see another notepad. I'll just pick those up because I go through a lot of those. Oh, I just put it in the cart in such a way that it landed on the floor. See, that's not me. I didn't do it. <laughs> I have an alibi over here in the office supplies. It wasn't me. Oh, how about some volcano plaster? Ooh, it's a plaster of Paris in like volcano color. That looks fun. Uh, latch hook kit, $5.99, no discount. We have a unicorn terrarium. That is not really my niche, so pass that by. Look at this cool little coding and app development. Kindergarten? Is that where they're starting them now? Holy smokes. Oh my goodness, somebody tested a um, toaster and it stinks really bad over here right now. That is a puzzle. That is a flash dance puzzle from Blockbuster. And this is an ET puzzle from Blockbuster. These, I'm going to look up. Eh, they fooled me. They only go for about five bucks. I was looking for a year. I think they're probably just um, some kind of a reproduction. Trying to figure out why they are so cheap. 2019. Yep, that's why. That's why. My acrylics. Premium quality decorative stamps. Ah, okay. All right. Let's see if there's anything else. Cartoon caption game from the New Yorker. Oh. That looks like an interesting thing to look up as well. Let's check it out. Look what we got. We got Flamingo Night Lights. 
Flamingo Night Lights for $1.99. I like Flamingo Night Lights. Those are also great little giveaway items. So they come from Cracker Barrel. I can tell you they were not $1.99 at Cracker Barrel. So I'm going to grab those. So y'all know I have a 30 year old daughter and she likes to throw parties and what better to have on your little patio than uh, red solo cup lights? Oh, I'm going to grab those for Jordan. This is like the most adorable little coffee pot toaster oven little thing ever. Americana collection. That is, I mean, I think I kind of like the color too, but that is super adorable. All right, I'm just skimming the lamps because I really don't, I don't need any lamps, but you know, when you see a chicken lamp, you have to stop and look. He's, um, he's kind of heavy duty. Who makes you? Doesn't say, it's a, he's vintage, he's O2. O2 is vintage now, that's yes. crazy. Yes. Which means he could be sold like on Etsy. He could be cross posted. I wonder if that cute little uh, shade that I saw up there with the little flowers on it goes with this chicken. You know that one I was just looking at? I've got I've got Sunny looking for it. Now this way. Warmer, warmer. Yes, red hot. <laughs> Do you think that could be his shade? I mean, it's kind of cute. Or am I just a really really bad designer putting the chicken and the floral little thing together. I kind of love it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So the shade is $4.99. The chicken is $7.99 minus 40%. So all you need is love. That's going to be a whole lot easier to ship than my cart full of stuff. <laughs> I'm just saying. I see some painted roses on, oh, it's a mirror. That's kind of pretty, actually. Artists, artistic moments, hand-painted, $5.99. Ooh, she's bringing over more artwork, more artwork. What else is here? Okay, let's go back to this. Do I like this? Do I like this enough to purchase it? Does somebody like this enough to purchase it at my booth? I think they might. I'm gonna grab it. And then I spot these guys. These are vintage. They are on silk. So they're paintings on silk with birds, which is always a plus. They are signed. Of course, there's no way I'm ever gonna know who that signature is. So I will price these just based on similar. And, um, yeah, those are those are super nice. Three ninety nine each. We're grabbing those. And I found this little cross stitch. Time for kindness and for giving. Time for friendship and happy living. And it's got a little clock and it's super vintage. And it is three ninety nine minus that forty percent. Now I have sold one of these before and it did quite well. So I'm gonna. I'm looking to see if there's any more. I don't see any more of that shadow boxy kind of thing. Scanning the frames, looking for that same boxy frame. So I think it's just the one for $4.99. We'll grab him. All right, let's do a little scan through the toys. Now he's like a battery operated Care Bear. I tend to stay away from anything that's like battery operated just because there's a high likelihood that there could be corrosion and stuff. I know, I could look, I could look. Um, I'm just, uh, I call me a lazy toy seller when I do sell toys. I want it to just be ready to go. And I know I'm not lazy, I'm not. It's just figure of speech. That's a, oh, it's a, um, that's a Toy Story one. Wow. Come on, who had one of these when they were a kid? Who had one of these? I know I certainly did, but it didn't have Toy Story on it, but I love that they're still making this classic toy. It has stood the test of time. There is a Raggedy Ann up here. 
wearing a little corduroy apron on her dress. Now I do have to get a little personal, like my cart's way over. Oh, I see the feet of Raggedy Andy too. Okay, I'm gonna take these over to the cart and assess a little better. So they are in my hands. Okay, you know, I was just having a discussion about this guy. Uh, do you realize Lou Ferrigno is now like 70 years old? Wowza, um, the Incredible Hulk, for those who aren't familiar. What, what year are you? You're 2013 Hasbro, Incredible Hulk. But yeah, he's, um, he's got a little age on him now. Ooh, score right there. And score right there. That one is also $1.99. They are $1.99 each for the Mickey Mouse ears. Let's uh, let's lift Raggedy Ann's skirt and see if we can find a tag, which is right here. Didn't have to get too overly personal. It is, looks like a vintage tag. It is Snowden and Friends and 1998 DHC by Johnny Gorilla. Yeah, so it's a 1998 Raggedy Ann. So we will take her for $4.99. Now Raggedy Andy is not the same size, probably not the same maker. He is $3.99. I'm not seeing a tag on him. I wonder if it's up under his little britches, which, ah, uh, it is. Now why would they do that? Why would they do that? We're gonna have to disrobe him if we can't, but we can't. He just, ooh, how are we gonna see who makes you? Okay, stand by. Okay, I kinda went up his pant leg there and found out he is handmade by Aurora. Let's see if there is a year, 2019. So he's not super old, but Randy Ann and Andy are forever very, very popular. And he's nice and clean and in good shape, so I'm gonna grab him too. All right, I just spotted the classic Build-A-Bear little footprint, and it's My Little Pony. I have sold these before for about 25 bucks. So we are gonna, the hardest thing for me is figuring out which one it is. We do know it's a unicorn, so that's gonna make it easier. And they all have a name based on Give this little piece on their little behinds, their brands, I guess you will. So uh, I wouldn't pick this up unless I had that 40% off. So it's eight, six, it's, so it's like five bucks. I'll go ahead and pick that one up. Let's scope out the toys up here. See if I'm missing anything else. I'm still supposed to be looking for a Tickle Me Elmo for carry, but I don't think this is a tickle me, is it? Um, how do you know if it's a tickle me, Elmo? I, he, I, there's no squeezy or anything, so I'm going to assume that's not a tickle me. Although he goes, oh, 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 that tickles, Danny. Let's see. Oh, he's, oh, he's so dirty. He's the, um, he's 1999. <gasps> I might have to look him up. This is the guy from Toy Story, right? It's the... It's the dinosaur. For, oh, he's so dirty, though. Oh, oh, does he make noise? Oh my gosh, he does. Oh. No, no, I don't. I just don't have time to clean you up, buddy. I'll leave you for somebody else. I will leave you for somebody else. I'm, I'm up here looking too for things for Carrie um, because she does a lot of toys out of her booth, so. I am not just sourcing for myself. I don't think there's anything else exciting up here today. Well, I've gone and done it. <laughs> I uh, filled a cart and I really, really didn't intend to do that today. I really didn't. I had the best intentions of just coming in here and finding a few things. But what do you do when you find so much goodness? in one place, right? Okay. I gotta go find Sonny, see if he's ready to go get out of here, and uh, we're gonna go check out. 
Since this is the store, I found that really cool vintage Junie and Burke. I am giving a quick once through the purses, and this caught my eye. It is one of those wrapper purses. Let's get you down and see how much you are. You're kind of cute and colorful. Oh, there's a wallet in there too. Oh, and this is a Nahui Olin brand. If a memory serves me, that's a good brand of these. And it is $14.99 minus 40%. So we're going to pick that up too. And I thought this might have been tooled leather, but it's, it's, it is, but it's, it's cheaply done. Cheaply done one. Had that been better quality, I might have picked that one up too. But it was not. I'm looking kind of for the quality. It's like the first thing I'm looking for. And then vintage, of course. I mean, or if it sparks my eye. I mean, there's several things. There is no just like one size fits all what I'm looking for. Diaffi? What's Diaffi brand? Hmm. In style handbags. Oh, it's vegan. Vegan leather. Uh, doesn't have an original price on it. You know, the color kind of drew me here. I might, I might have to look this one up because it's new with tags. I'm looking to see if there's something wrong with it. No, it's pretty darn clean on the inside. Got a little scuff there, but that's nothing that won't clean up really quick. So, stand by. So these do sell in the forty to sixty dollar range. And I do like the colors of it, so we're going to go ahead and pick it up. It is $19.99, but I do get that 40% off. Let's see what else. What else can we find? You know what I actually needed the other day was a little insulated, like a lunchbox thing. Ooh, that's some nice feeling leather. Who are you? Let's open you up. See if you have a name inside. I do not see a name inside. You're just a nice little leather purse. Okay, we'll leave you. Another nice little leather purse. Got some nice purses today, I must say. This one's also $20. Why are you $20? Oh, I see a name. I see a name. You get to wear. I can read what that name is. It says... Brampton, Brampton, London. All right, that's another one we're gonna look up. All right, so that one does sell for about 20 to 25, so we'll leave that one. Let's see what else, Franco Sardo. What are you? Coco? Coco? Don't think we got anything else in the purses. All right, there's Sunny. There's Sunny's cart. Ooh, what'd you find? Quite a bit of stuff, are you interested in this? You know that, is that the one, it's got a chip? <sighs> I'm fun it. sponging you. Yeah, you do. Um, I saw okay. that. Yeah, I oh, prefer to sell them in like sets, but. Yeah, I was looking for a set. I didn't know if you'd be interested. No, no, but Alrighty. I mean, if. If you find them um, on occasion, I, I have like an orphan shelves that, you know, mm -hmm. I keep stuff like that, but they're good if you find <laughs> like a set. That. Although they've had some bad press lately yeah. because of the lead content, so people mm -hmm. are veering away from using the Corel. Interesting. And, ooh. That's like 50 to $80. Look at that. That's it's brand new too. Spiffy. Spiffy. And then lots of clothes. Lots and lots yeah. of clothes. Got to go check out his. Uh, what not auctions any and youtube channel and youtube channel yeah, well definitely. yeah well that's a given De that's a given definitely go check out his youtube and he'll show you what he's getting here yeah all right heading to go check out stay tuned for the recap i'm gonna tell you what i bought how much i paid and how much it's worth coming up right now
the total came to about 170, 170, and we got two carts because they had no boxes. No boxes. I hate that. But uh, we managed. We've got it all. This cart keeps wanting to go everywhere but where I want it to. One-handed. Not working. Uh, so we're going to load it up into uh, Sunny's truck. And uh, I'm glad I had help. Thank you so much, Sunny. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so that's really funny because I was saying I only wanted to get like yeah, eight to ten items when I got here and Sunny was just laughing at me like, you really are bad at math, aren't you? Because <laughs> that was a lot more than eight to ten. But when you find the good stuff, you got to buy the good stuff. And 40% and off. And I was just going to say 40% off. That's so huge. How do you say no? So now heading home to go process all this stuff in and uh, get this video edited and up for you guys. So with that, you go over and subscribe to Sunny Las Vegas, S-O-N-N-Y. I'll have a link down in the description of the video along with lots of other cool information. And uh, with that, you go be profitable and get shop done. Make it fun! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we're going again? <laughs> Let's go.